Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this week's reading will be for August 28th through September the 3rd. And we're going to be using the Mystical Wisdom card deck. And this is a beautiful card deck written by Gay Guthrie and artwork by Josephine Wall. And the artwork is phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful deck. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the week, we're going to have Unicorn. And for the middle of the week, we're going to have Good Fortune. And the end of the week, we're going to have Seven Heavenly Virtues. So... We have Unicorn, okay, and it says invite serendipity. Yes, allow things to flow in your life. Do not force things. Feel like you want to go with the flow this week. It's so much easier and so much less stressful when you allow life to to unfold as it naturally is. So many times we want to change situations, change circumstances, change relationships. And when we force these things and push these things, it is so frustrating, especially when it's something that's not meant to be. So allow the flow of life in your life, especially in the beginning of the week when, you know, we have a whole week ahead of us. Okay? And I'm not saying to make a doormat out of yourself or, you know, accept things that are wrong. I'm just saying to maybe ease up a little bit. Ease up a little bit on things that maybe you've been trying too hard uh, to make happen. And just allow things. When you allow things, you're so much more relaxed and so much more at peace than if you feel that you must make something happen or you must get something done. So allow the flow of life. And then we have good fortune. Invite magic in. Here we go again. Another magical card. We just had a magical card. And when you believe that life is magical and anything is possible, there's no way that you can't be happy. It's something that lifts your spirits when you're, you're open to, to everything. And you just allow, you know, your life to, to become, how could I say, enjoyable instead of it being struggling from one obstacle to the next. Okay, when you allow things to be magical and you look for the magical things in everyday life, more of those magical things are going to appear. Um, to me, when I think of this magical type of feeling, I think of embracing your inner child. Um, not being childish as, you know, in terms of being immature. I'm saying childlike. Children allow things to unfold. They don't really have any preconceived notions of what should be and what shouldn't be. They just go along with what's going on that day. Okay? You may want to embrace your, your inner child. You may want to do something fun. You may want to, you know, cook a new recipe, maybe paint, maybe write in your journal, maybe go for a walk in nature. But when you become more childlike and awestruck by the miracles that happen every day and all around us, that's, that's magical. And, and it's so much better for the soul uh, to do something that you, you know, your soul loves to do, to take that time, because life doesn't have to be so serious. And then at the end of the week, we have seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. Uh, and I've never had this card, be card before, but it is a beautiful card. Let me see what the book says about it. Okay. Very interesting. And the book states, let me just put my glasses on here. It's very small print. The book states, you represent spiritual enlightenment divine knowledge and wisdom. You have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful. You have a deep intuitive understanding of God, the angels, and the universal spirit. You know the keys to goodness. You are being asked to use your knowledge to empower and teach others. And then the seven uh, heavenly virtues are faith, 
belief and trust in the right things, hope, belief that good will prevail, charity, unlimited loving kindness towards others, fortitude, never giving up, justice, being fair and equitable towards others, patience, accepting the grace to forgive, and temperance, practicing self-control and moderation. And yes, we do all have this divine wisdom within us. And we're all becoming enlightened. Just watching these videos, you're becoming enlightened each and every time I go over these cards and uh, the beautiful comments that I get every day and people that are making changes, positive changes in their life. We're all at different phases on the spiritual path and we all have something to teach each other. We all have experiences to share, to help each other along the way. And this is just such a, a beautiful card. It's telling that telling that all of you, all of you are on the spiritual path and we all have something to offer. And it's just amazing, you know, each day and, and to think that, you know, I was doing things that were so much different than sitting here doing videos. And, and I say this all the time that if somebody told me this five years ago, that you'd be sitting in the middle of the afternoon making videos for YouTube on, you know, spiritual things and self-help and positive thinking and, you know, just basic enlightenment, I would think that they were crazy. But things took a turn. Um, things in your life will happen. Uh, there'll be a chain of events that will set you on the right path. And when you think that things won't happen, they will. You just have to be patient. And uh, I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy, you know, sharing uh, whatever it is that I have through these videos to anyone out there that's, you know, going through what I've gone through or will be going through something similar to what I've gone through. So beautiful, beautiful weekend message here with this card. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.